Welcome back today in our Sunday Spotlight. Legendary concert promoter Jim Koplick. He's the president of Live Nation in Connecticut and upstate New York. And you can thank him for bringing some of your favorite bands to our state at places like the Xfinity Theater in Hartford, the Toyota Oakdale Theater in Wallingford, Mohegan Sun as well. When the pandemic hit, the music stopped at those venues. So how soon will it return? Jim, welcome. Thank you for being with us. In our last segment, Governor Lamont said he hopes things will return to something close to normal this summer. We all, we all hope that, of course, but what will that look like in the concert business? Well, first of all, thank you for inviting me. I love watching you every week, but now it's great to be a participant. So thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I honestly uh, will say to the governor, I have a call with their office tomorrow, uh, probably tomorrow or, or the next day, uh, that really normal is no social distancing. Uh, uh, and uh, my hope is we will return to normal which means no social distancing. I find it a little difficult economically to handle social distancing, even with the capacity, if you need six feet apart, we're really at a 40 or 50% capacity that way. And the artists are not gonna take less money. So we, we can't make money at 50% or even 100% with social distancing. Talk to us about that, the economics of this business. Obviously, to get these stops to these tours to stop in Connecticut, they have to make money, right? They're in this for that purpose. So if you can't fill the venues, what are your options? To stay closed. We really don't have any other option. Uh, to restaff up our business and then hope to have a 50% capacity, even though it's 100% technically, but with social distancing, it's really 50%. Uh, there's no money to be made. Uh, we would lose money. So uh, we need to do better than uh, than having no social distancing. Now, are, how dependent is Connecticut on what happens other places? Of course, a big band that might be touring this summer isn't going to say, oh, great, everything's fine in Connecticut. We'll just plan one tour, load up the tractor trailers. We're heading to Hartford. They want to go other places. So does what happens here depend on what happens elsewhere? Well, somebody needs to take the You're right. That's a very good point. But somebody needs to take the lead. And right now, Connecticut seems to be taking the lead, which is good. But without New York, it's going to be very difficult because New York is so big and has so many concert venues in it. Uh, but it, with Connecticut taking the lead, and so far, Governor Lamont has clearly taken the lead in the Northeast, I, we, we will use that lead to help us open up other markets. So will that be what you're dependent on, state guidelines? Or at some point, will the venues just have to say, OK, we're doing this thing? No, we have to depend on whatever the governor wants. We've done that, and uh, and I'm a big fan. I, I need my, my, my people that go to concerts to feel that they're in a safe, uh, comfortable atmosphere. And without the governor giving us our thumbs up, I don't think the public will feel that way. All right, so if we're going to have people return to these venues, are we going to be walking in with you know vaccine cards and negative COVID tests? Is that something that may be a norm at the gates? Are you considering that? We're considering things like that. But again, it's going to be up to the governor. If the governor says uh, if enough people are vaccinated, we're not planning to open up till June or July anyway. So uh, there'll be a lot more people in Connecticut that are vaccinated. And at some point, hopefully we won't have to show cards. We'll have some measure of herd immunity, uh, which will be protective of everybody. So much of our summers in Connecticut are, you know, this is part of the thing. You head up to the Xfinity, head to the Oakdale. There's a new venue opening up down in Bridgeport. There's a lot of people who love, you know, listen to that music, being outside on a, a warm night. I mean, even sitting in traffic. I miss sitting in traffic going to the Xfinity gym. We're seeing some pictures of the, the cars waiting to get in there. How, what is our prospect? Are we going to be able to get back to this this summer? What are you thinking? My guess is yes. I have found uh, the, the governor to be... Uh, the most uh, easy governor I'm dealing with, and I'm dealing with a lot of Northeast governors for Live Nation, and I find him to be the most pro-business governor, but uh, also takes health into consideration. He has a wonderful balance. I think most other governors up in the Northeast don't have that balance yet. I think the fact that he comes from a business uh, helps in a large way. And you mentioned business. Obviously, there's a lot of people at these venues who work these shows. Is there a bigger effect on our economy just besides someone who's sitting at home this morning hoping they're going to get to go to that big show this summer? Yes. If you're looking at Xfinity, uh, we uh, employ over 400 people the night of a show. Uh, and for many of them, it's their second job. Uh, and many of them have now lost their first job. Uh, and so all of a sudden, it will become their first job. So we have over 400 people that work the venue the night of a concert at Xfinity. 
Now, if you have to mobilize those 400 people, how much lead time do you need? When do you have to get word that, you know, say July is a go? Do you need to know now? Do you need to know in May? Can you find out June 15th? I need 60 to 90 days. And I expressed that to Commissioner Lehman yesterday when I met with Commissioner Lehman. Uh, we went through Bridgeport and, uh, and had a nice uh, uh, walkthrough. And I just mentioned to him that we need 60 to 90 days to uh, really get everything going. Now, do you have any acts uh, that, that are, are planning at this point to come, or are they all still wait and see? What are you hearing on the other side of things with the bans? Well, the problem we're facing, in all honesty, and I guess I could say it now, I've never said it before, uh, we had Ringo Starr planning to open up our uh, Bridgeport Amphitheater on June 4th, but uh, he couldn't wait any longer, so he postponed his tour until the fall uh, because of exactly what you're saying. Uh, we can't guarantee at this point that any shows are going to happen because no governor has told us that we can have shows. Uh, so now everybody's either moving towards later in the summer, the fall, or even into 2022. Oh, breaking concert news on CT21. This is amazing, Jim. This is a, a big a big first for this show. Uh, what about people who had tickets last year? Obviously, all those shows got postponed. Many people chose to hold on to their tickets. I, is that something? You, what's your advice to those people? I'm sure everywhere you go, people are saying, oh, Jimmy, I got these tickets to, to the Thomas <laughs> Rhett show. What do I do now? Well, it's, it's a good question. And the answer is that we, offered, we opened up a 30-day refund window for every show that got postponed, which was every show. Uh, and if you didn't take the refund, uh, your tickets will be good. Uh, as soon as the governor gives us some sort of idea of when we can reopen, we will announce new upcoming dates with some assurity. And right now we're sort of in a holding pattern. Jim, right now, a lot of these venues are vaccination sites. Has that been an interesting pivot in your business? Yes. I was asked last night how, many, how long I've been in the concert business. And I said, I've been in the concert business for 53 years. But I've only done concerts for 52. I'm actually in the vaccination business this year. Um, I'm very proud of the fact that both Toyota, Oakdale, and Xfinity are vaccination sites. And uh, thanks to Harvard Healthcare uh, and the state government and, and, uh, and, and us at Live Nation, we're giving 14,000 vaccinations a week right now. Well, the more shots that get into arms, I think the closer we are to cheering for a band this summer. Jim Koplick from Live Nation, we appreciate you being with us. And hopefully we'll see you at a show sometime soon. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot, Eric. Have a good day.